Welcome, this is Jake with Genesis Rage. In this episode, we'll be going over the signup assistant component that's included in the latest version of SmartFox, which is at the time of this recording, is 2.7.0. And we'll also be using the login assistant component in a previous video to verify that everything is working correctly. We will start off by creating a new file again of a Java class. This time here, we're going to call this one well, zone extension again. It says it already exists, but we are going to change the package from login extension to signup extension or signup ext. We have to extend uh, SmartFox extension. Extension. For the variable here, I will be calling this private signup assistant component. We'll call that SUAC. Have to override the init function, which is public void init. Here we're going to make the signup assistant component variable equal a new signup assistant component. This one does not require any variables to be sent. And here we're going to add a request handler. And this one is signup assistant component dot command prefix and the variable is suac and what this command prefix here is for is a specialized string that will be sending from unity and this will pick it up so it knows what to do with it we will also override the destroy function as well as we did before so override public void destroy And again, use super.destroy. Now we're ready to save and build this project. And finish building. After the project is built, we will have to assign that to a zone. We'll open up the admin tool here, come into the zone configurator, and you see I already created the zone. This here, just all default values, except for the database manager, I went through and filled this out already, so I wouldn't have to do that. For here, we do not want to use the custom login, and we do want to allow guest access to this zone. So we'll come into the zone extension, grab our login ext, and for this one, we actually want the signup ext.zone extension. Submit that, and we can actually restart the server. And now we're ready for the Unity code. So I'll open up Unity again. And for here, I do want to create a new scene. And we do want to save that one out. This one here, we're going to save as just sign up. Keep it all easy for us. And we'll create a new C Sharp script as well. And we'll call this one sign up as well. Open that in mono develop. As before, it's going to be using the same using functions here, and it's using SFS 2x, using SFX, if I can spell it, dot core, using SFS 2x dot requests. However, this one will also be using sfs2x.entities.data because we will be using a smart fox object. For the rest is basically the same connection methods and stuff that we've used before and that we've gone over in another video. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that out and come back in a moment. Now the sign up code is actually very similar to the login code. Um, but I will be going over the different changes here. For here I added a new public string called email. And I made all these just equal 
to nothing, so we'll actually set these in the editor. However, the zone name here, we did change to sign up to match the zone name of the server. And then here I created a new string variable called cmd underscore signup. What this string is here is what the signup assistant component is actually looking for when you send an extension request. Scrolling down a little further, I added another event listener of extension response, and the method it calls is on extension response, um, as I've gone over in a previous video as well. The send after we connect the send is a little different here. We're not sending a username or password because we will be signing in as a guest. The on login method, this is where a lot of it is going to be changing here. We're creating an ISFS object and we're adding two UT or three UTF strings, username, password, and email. These names here are required by the signup component uh, to be all under underscore username, password, and email. And again, we're just going to be passing the, vari the public variables that we set in the editor here. The next method that got a lot of change, or actually created completely, is the on extension response. We've gone over in a previous video as well, but we'll go over some of the different things here. Here we're going to create a command string variable, and that's going to be passed, or it's going to equal to the CMD parameter that's sent back from SmartFox. We're going to create another SFS object here, which is going to equal the params. And here we check if the command that came back equals the command sign up, which is the extension request that we sent out. If that contains the key error message, we're going to debug log the sign up error and actually the error message itself. However, if it does contain the key success, that means that it was added to the database successfully and we'll put this out into the debug log. Now we'll have to come back into Unity and attach this script to the main camera. And we'll come in here and add, say, the username, let's call this Jake, password, testing, and the email. Say if this is actually Kermit trying to create a new um, a new account and he's going to put in the same email address. When we hit play, okay, I cleared that up because uh, it was a successful sign up, but I actually wanted to test the error messages because his email is Kermit at Muppets, as in plural. So we'll change that now to show an error first. Hit play, was connected, it logged in as a guest, but email address kermit at muppets.com is already in use. Uh, so that does give us an error for that. Now if we change this to a different uh, valid email address that's not in the database already, I'll use my real email of jake at genesisrage.net. Hit play again, and now this shows sign up successful. And we can check that by coming into the database itself. Refresh, and you can see here the username of Jake, password of testing, and my email is actually added into the database now. And we can also double check or triple check if you'd like by opening up our login scene here and changing this information to Jake and testing. Hitting play. And now I am actually logged in by using the database. And stop that. And that will wrap up this episode. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below or send an email to jake at genesisrage.net.